Okay, YouTube, working with my fresh new light out here in the dark after hours, and I got this 136 amp alternator from a Dodge Durango, and I was gonna put it on the Cherokee. Um, and go figure, it's just a hair too big. Like the stuff just starts bottoming out, which is not fun to mess with. So. I just need a little bit more room right here, um, probably right here, and then if you turn it, back up in there is probably going to need a little room too, especially considering it's kind of bottoming out on that side. Here, let me get you some better light. Um, sorry, bottoming out a little bit up in there. So we're just going to have to shave, and I've seen another YouTuber that did it shave it to get it in here so that's what we're gonna do uh i'll update you i think i'm gonna use this dremel to shave and see if that works if it doesn't i'll have to come back with uh probably come back on the video tomorrow and show you what i did with a grinder instead so stay tuned so hopefully you guys can hear me to make sure I didn't run the battery dead, I had to turn the Jeep on. Um, but so far, it's really close. I mainly did trimming right above this, the two bolts that go to the front uh, that are studs on one end and like a, I mean, I guess they're a bolt and then they got a stud to them. And I just trimmed right in here and I'm 90% there. You see, I can, you can almost see through now. You can see through, but it just needs a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take the Dremel and trim a little bit more of this off. Uh, let's go ahead and plug up and do it real quick. I'm just gonna keep working it until I get it with a little bit of play left uh, where there's about an eighth inch of play and then I'm probably gonna stop and I'll show you the end result. Okay, um, so on this back side where it butts up to like this area, you have to dremel these down right here to make a little channel for them to rest in. But I think that might be the last thing. Let's see. Let's get it. Man, it is so close. It's just got like the slightest bit left. I can't. This side's fine. It looks like it's more so down in there that it's just barely bottoming out now. Like there's a gap all the way around the top side of the thing, but it's just bottoming out right in there somewhere. If I can just get that, actually, I think I see it bottoming out right here too. Might just have to trim that up, get a Sharpie and mark it real quick. Get my Sharpie. make a little notch right there where I marked put a little area that it can uh, either on the actual alternator or this bracket just cut a little notch there I think that might that and maybe right here it's making a little bit of contact but I think this is minimal I might just barely notch that um, yeah, barely notch this guy right here. And then I think it'll be fit. I'll show you so, in a second. Okay. I trimmed this part that I marked with the Sharpie that was running into um, this arm right here off of the alternator. And then, um, just to note, I also shaved this area 
from the front perspective. I shaved that a long time ago. I didn't even get it on camera. Uh, make sure you watch out for him. And then I barely shaved the housing right here on this rib so that this part just glides over it right there. And look what you have. A nice hole straight through. And it's, it's kind of actually bracing itself really nicely up against the aluminum and everything. So really the strength that you took away in these grinds is actually kind of reinforced by it touching against the aluminum. Now granted, you wanna make sure that the windings and everything have room to breathe out, and I think it does. I don't think you're really obstructing much right in this back crevice. I think, in fact, like if you look down in there, you can still see the windings. So it's just up against that body of this um, mount. So I think I got it. I think I got my thing to fit. Like I said earlier, I got the top bolt mounted so I could swing it in and out. And I think, I think I can get it now in there. I think I can get that bolt through. I guess I could show you on camera. Here, let me see if I got it close. Let's flip it on its back there. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's try this. Seems like it's fitting. So, that being said, it's starting to thread. I'd say that's a job well done. You cut here. For last reference, you cut here. You shave right there from the front perspective. That's all you really have to do. Then, you trim down what's on the bottom side of these two bolts. You trim that down enough to get in up against the alternator. And then, like as you can see right now in this shot, you can see where I trimmed back up in there. Then you, I, I notch this. I now see that I didn't really have to. Just make sure you smooth out your cuts where there's not like a crack forming. And then where this thing swung inside these little bolt ribs, I barely notched it so it would fit, fit into the groove that I notched right here. And then down in on this nut. And here it is. It fits. So hopefully this helps. Like I said, this is a 1999 136 amp Dodge Durango alternator. Um, and it looks like it's going to fail in the Cherokee. This is a 99 Cherokee. I think 99, 2000, 2001 have this plug and this terminal right here. Single post terminal. And then before this, I think they had a different style of like these two wires or three wires or something like that and this is just far easier so i got one that matched my jeep and then i i actually got this alternator for 25 at the uh, pick and pull or 21 with a core i think somewhere in there and then i took it to my local shop and they put new brushes on it for brushes and cleaned it and greased it all that good stuff for the bearing put new brushes on for 25 so for 50 bucks and shaving this bracket down um, I got a 136 amp alternator, which is a 46 amp upgrade from my 90 amp. Well, uh, I'm going to leave it to you. Hopefully you guys can reassemble it. If you took this guy out or took this one out of the Durango, you can hopefully get the concept of putting it back in. Well, your friend St. Chris, you're helping underneath the light of my work work LED on the back of my Jeep with a Dremel tool powered by my Jeep as well. Well, I hope this helps. Again, have a good one, guys. God bless.